are going to start the numericals of chapter 7a sound question number 1 the wavelength of wave produced on the surface of water is 20 cm so wavelength is given 20 cm lambda wavelength denoted by the alphabet lambda 20 cm it is not the si unit so we should convert cm to meter divided by 100 you will get 0.2 meter if the wave velocity is 24 meter per second velocity is given 24 meter per second calculate the number of waves produced in 1 second that is number of waves in 1 second is known as its frequency and the second sub question is calculate the time taken for one wave time taken for one wave means we are asked to calculate the time period so frequency and time period we have to calculate we have the wave length and wave velocity for that we have the basic formula relating wave length frequency and wave velocity v is equal to f lambda so from here what will be f v by lambda so we have to substitute the values 24 divided by 0.2 you will get the answer 120 hertz so frequency is 120 hertz frequency means the time taken number of waves in 1 second now we have to calculate time taken for one wave that is time period the formula relating time period and wavelength is f is equal to 1 by t t is equal to 1 by f 1 divided by 120 it is 0.0083 seconds in your textbook you can see it is written 8.3 into 10 raised to minus 3 either you can write in that way or directly you just divide 1 divided by 120 you will get the answer 0.0083 seconds question number 2 calculate the minimum distance you have to calculate the minimum distance in air required between the source of sound and the obstacle to hear an echo take the speed of sound in air is 350 meter per second so we are asked to calculate the distance d and the velocity is given 350 meter per second and it is given a hint is given in the question it is minimum distance required that means time is not given but we already studied in theory portion conditions for the echo the time should be minimum 0.1 second so the time is not given directly but we should take the time as 0.1 second now we have the basic formula always start from the basic formula v is equal to 2d by t if it is a normal velocity velocity is displacement by time since here we are considering echo the distance will be to and fro so 2d twice the distance 2d by t from here distance cross multiply v into t by 2 now direct substitution 350 into 0.1 divided by 2 you will get the answer 17.5 meter now question number 3 what should be the minimum distance between the source and reflector in water so that echo is heard distinctly the speed of sound in water given 1400 meter per second so here also velocity of sound is given 1400 meter per second and time is not given but we had to substitute the time as 0.1 because it is understood for the echo the condition for echo is time should be minimum 0.1 so directly we can substitute we distance is equal to vt by 2 1400 into 0.1 by 2 1400 into 0.1 it is 140 140 divided by 2 you will get the answer 70 meter so 70 meter is the distance between source and the reflector in water next question number 4 a man is standing 25 meter away from a wall produces a sound and receives the reflected sound calculate so distance a person is standing in front of a cliff and he just produces a sound distance between the man and the cliff or man and the wall is given 25 meter calculate the time after which he received the reflected sound if the speed of sound in air velocity is given 
350 meter per second. Our question is to calculate the time. So distance and velocity is given calculating time. Write the basic formula V is equal to 2D by T. So our velocity, uh, we have to calculate time. Just cross multiply. T is equal to 2D by V. 2 into 25 by 350. You will get the answer 0 0.14 second. Here there is one more sub question. Will the man be able to hear the echo? Is he able to hear the echo? So from the value, from the time. Minimum 0.1 second. So here you can see our value. The time we got is more than 0.1. It is 0.14. So surely he can hear the echo. So you have to write yes. He will hear the echo. Because the minimum time limit or the sound persists for 0.1 second. Okay. Next question number 5. A radar sends a signal to an aeroplane at a distance 300 kilometer. So distance is given 300 kilometer. Kilometer is not the SI unit. So what should we do? We have to convert kilo to kilometer to meter. So we have to instead of kilo we have to add 1000. In, multiply by 1000. So you will get 3 lakh meter. Instead of 3 lakh, I just write as the power of 10. 3 into 5 zeros are the 3 into 10 raised to 5 meter. And velocity is given 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second. It is given in the question. Our uh, question is to calculate the time. So we have time is equal to. First, you if you want, you can write the uh, basic formula. Velocity is equal to 2d by t. From there, t is equal to 2d by v. 2 into distance, 3 into 10 raised to 5 by velocity is given 3 into 10 raised to 8. So, 3 and 3 will get cancelled. 10 raised to 5 by 10, 2. 2 is remaining, so we can we can write here 2. A raised to m divided by A raised to n. We studied A raised to m minus n. That is 10 raised to 5 minus 8. So 10 raised to 5 minus 8. 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So we got the time is 2 into 10 raised to minus 3 seconds. Next question number 7. A ship on the surface of water sends a signal and receives it back from the submarine inside water after 4 seconds. So time is given 4 seconds. Calculate the distance of the submarine from the ship. Take the speed of sound in water is 1450 meter per second. So time and velocity is given. We are asked to find the distance. V is equal to basic formula. V is equal to 2D by T. D is equal to VT by 2. So substitute D is equal to velocity 1450 into 4 divided by 2. This 4 and 2 get cancelled. 1450 into 2 you will get. 2900 meter or you can write if it is divided by 1000 we can convert meter to kilometer we can write as 2.9 kilometer anyhow meter is the SI unit so when you write the answer in SI unit you will surely uh, you can score the mark no need to convert to kilometer but in a textbook it is given 2.9 kilometer both answer correct question number 8 a pendulum has a frequency of 5 vibrations per second. That is frequency is given 5. Number of vibrations in 1 second. That is 5 vibration per second. Frequency is given 5. So from that frequency we can calculate the time period. Time period is 1 by frequency. That is 1 by 5 you will get 0 0.2 seconds. So frequency and time period we got. An observer starts a pendulum and fires a gun simultaneously. He hears echo from the cliff after 8 vibrations. So time taken for 1 vibration we got it as 0 0.2. So what will be the time taken for 8 vibration? 1 vibration 0 0.2 for 8 vibration 0 0.2 into 8 you will get 1.6. So time for 8 vibration that is time is we got as 1.6 seconds. If the velocity of sound in air is 340 meter per second, velocity is given 340 meter per second, find the distance between cliff and the observer. 
we have to calculate the distance. V is equal to 2D by T. D is equal to VT by 2. That just cross multiply, you will get the answer. V into T, 340 into 1.6 divided by 2, you will get the answer 272 meter. Next question number 9. A person standing between two cliffs. So here you can see two cliffs and a person is standing between two cliffs produces a sound. So this person produced the sound. Two successive echoes are heard at 4 seconds and 6 seconds. Calculate the distance between the cliff. Given speed of sound in air is 320 meter per second. So velocity is given 320 meter per second. We are asked to find the distance between two cliff. So what we have to do is, first we have to find the distance between the person and the first cliff. Then we have to find the distance between the person and the second cliff. Using the formula V is equal to 2D by T. D is equal to VT by 2 cross multiply. So first here it is 4 seconds that is distance will be less. Because here it is 6 seconds. So that echo it will take 3 seconds to reach the cliff. Again 3 seconds back. So first one. First distance D1 is equal to VT by 2. Same way, D2, second distance, D2 is equal to Vt by 2. Like the same formula, but here substitution, 320 into 4. First time we had to take it as 4. 320 into 4 divided by 2. Same way, the second distance, 320 into 6 by 2. Only difference is, here time we took it as 4 and here we took it as 6. That is the only change. While calculating here 2 and 4 will get cancelled. You will get 640, 640 uh, meter is the first distance. And the second distance when we calculate we got it as 960 meter. So total distance between the cliff, distance between two cliffs is 640 plus 960. You will get 1600 meter. Question number 10. A person standing at a distance x. In front of a cliff fires a gun. Another person B standing behind the person A at a distance Y from the cliff. Here's two sounds of the fired shot after 2 seconds and 3 seconds respectively. Calculate X and Y. So here the question is person A, this is person A, he is standing in front of the cliff. The distance between the cliff and the person is given x. And the distance between the second person b and the cliff is given y. Here we have to write here y. Now this person a will fire the gun. So the person b hears two sounds simultaneously. So obviously what will be the two sounds? First sound it is given two second and three second respectively. So 2 second means when this person A fires the gun, he can, this person B can directly hear the sound. Okay, from the person A, directly sound will reach person B. So that should be case 1. Second case is when this person fires the gun, here you can see the person firing the gun. What will happen? The sound will go in the opposite direction. Sound can travel in any direction. When it hits the cliff, it will reflect. An echo is formed. So that should be the second case. So here we can start from the first case. Directly from A to B. From A to B. So here no echo. We, we don't want to consider the echo because directly sound is traveling from A to B. So velocity is D by T. Velocity is distance by time. Here I am not taking 2D because... We are not considering echo. So V is equal to D by T. D is equal to cross multiply V into T. So 320 into 640. 320 into 2 you will get 640 meter. That is this distance. This distance between two persons we got it as 640 meter. Now we are going to consider second case echo. Simply we have to consider this person A and the cliff. As we told early, the time is given 3 seconds. First case it is 2 seconds. 
and the second is here is the sound in 3 second so here when we are considering only the first person what is the formula v is equal to 2d by t d is equal to vt by 2 that is velocity of sound is given 320 and time I took it here 1 second because total time it is 3 seconds that is from the cliff to the person B from the person is hearing the echo person B is hearing the echo that means when person A fires the gun the sound first it should travel this distance return this distance again we have to return this distance so here we have to take the time as 1 second because here we already got it as 2 second total is 3 in that 2 seconds reduce so this will be 1 second that is why I took here 1 second so 320 into 1 divided by 2 you will get 160 meter that is this distance we got it as 160 meter this distance means x x is 160 so what will be y distance between the cliff and person b already we got this distance as 640 so 160 plus 640 you will get 800 meter so x is 160 y is 800 next question number 11 on sending an ultrasonic wave from a ship towards the bottom of the C, the time interval between sending the wave and receiving it back is found to be 1.5 seconds. So, time is given 1.2 second and speed of sound in sea water is given 1400. Calculate the depth. So, formula V is equal to 2D by T, D is equal to VT by 2. Direct substitution 1400 into 1.5 divided by 2. When you calculate, you will get the depth of the sea is 1050 meter. Last question, question number 12. Fig figure below shows the distance displacement graph of two waves A and B. Compare their amplitude and wavelength. Uh, so you have to look the diagram in your textbook. Here you can see the displacement distance graph. In that two waves, that blue wave is A and the black wave is B. First you have to compare the amplitude A is to B. Here you can see the maximum amplitude of A is given 10 centimeter and that of B is given, it is clearly mentioned in the diagram, it is given 5 centimeter. So how will you compare 10 is to 5, you get cancel, you will get 2 is to 1. Second question is compare their wavelength. Wavelength, the definition of wavelength is distance traveled by the wave in one time period or you can say uh, how much distance to complete one wave that will be easy for you to while doing the problem here you can see the blue wave that is a the wave a complete one crust and one one crust and one trough within eight centimeter in the x-axis you can see the blue wave completed one crust and one trough constitute one wave within eight centimeter but the black wave that is B, wave B, one crust, one trough completed within 16 centimeter. So wavelength, length of one wave that is 8 is to 16, that is A is to B. So you will get 8 is to 16. When you cancel, you will get 1 is to 2. So we completed all the problems of chapter 7A sum. Thank you. Mm -hmm.